the first days of the Ukrainian counteroffensive did not lead to any victories for the Ukrainian army. After two days of massive attacks on the fronts of the Zaporozhye region and the south of the DPR, Ukrainian units suffered heavy losses but failed to take control of any of the settlements. On June 5th, Ukrainian forces managed to enter the village of Novodonetska but did not gain a foothold there and retreated after prolonged battles. On the morning of June 6th, the front lines in the Donbass and southern regions remained unchanged. The Ukrainian military paid a high price for the failed attempts to break through the Russian defense. The Russian Defense Ministry estimated the enemy's losses at 1,500 soldiers as well as 28 tanks and 109 armored fighting vehicles. Western-supplied main battle tanks did not help the advancing Ukrainians. The Russian Defense Ministry announced the destruction of at least eight German Leopard tanks. NATO equipment is now burning out on the Ukrainian steppes, including Max Pearl MRAPs, French armored fighting vehicles such as the AMX 10RC, etc. The situation remains tense on the front lines. Ukrainian attempts to open an auxiliary front are expected in the Kyrgyzstan region. On the night of June 6, Ukrainian forces struck at the Kahovskaya hydroelectric power plant. According to preliminary data, the attack was carried out by a Ukrainian Vilha MLRS. As a result, several floodgates were destroyed. Up to 80 settlements may be within the flooding zone. Kiev has always accused Russia of destroying infrastructure. Despite the fact that the hydroelectric power plant is under the control of the Russian military, the flat and lower eastern bank of the Dnieper, where Russian positions are located, are in the greatest danger, and that such a strike is not beneficial for Russian forces from a military point of view. A few months ago, it became obvious that Kiev would try to use control over the dams along the Dnieper River during its counteroffensive. Back in April, water overflowed the banks of the Dnieper in the Kiev region, which the Ukrainian media tried to explain away with allegedly heavy precipitation. However, the rain this year was not unusually heavy in Ukraine. In fact, the Kiev authorities deliberately accumulated water without opening the floodgates on the dams. Then, the Ukrainian dam in Dnieperodzhinsk did not discharge water for more than two weeks. As a result, local villages were flooded and the population had to be evacuated. All this was necessary for the ongoing counteroffensive. Having damaged the only dam under the control of Russian forces, Kiev can flood the Russian-controlled eastern bank in the Kyrgyzstan region, opening all the floodgates, draining the water from upstream of the Dnieper. Kiev is clearly not concerned about the civilian settlements, which it is allegedly trying to liberate from the cruel Russians.